do. All right. We have Jim McElhinney here today, and he is from FranNet. And they're known to be the most trusted franchise experts in the country. Jim, could you tell us a little bit about what you do with FranNet and the type of businesses you help people get into? Sure. Yeah, Mike. And thanks, thanks for having me here. Um, yeah, so FranNet, we've been in business for about 35 years, really working as a matchmaker between people that are aspiring to own a business of their own. And we help educate them and potentially introduce them to franchise concepts that would meet their goals. So I kiddingly say sometimes I'm like eHarmony for business, but with a better outcome. And we, we don't own or have an affiliation with any of the franchise concepts that we introduce to. In fact, we have a team that really scrubs through. We're pretty picky. We introduce across a range of industries that probably touches almost 300 different individual franchise concepts. But when you think about the franchise world in the U.S., there's over 5,000. Again, that's how we see ourselves as being selected. But everyone automatically thinks food, but there's franchises across a whole range of industries beyond that. Oh, I see them in the print industry all the time, right down the street, from yes. Alpha Graphics to other types. Sure. Yeah. I yeah. don't even know. You go, I can walk into a business and not even know it's a franchise. Oh, it's true. It's a brand name. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. Um, yeah. That's the magic of it. Get a local owner. Get a local owner who has the benefit of the systems and the brand, but also he or she is a real local owner plugging into their community. That's usually the recipe for success in franchising. Ah, uh, uh, that's somewhat I've seen tutoring where you have a franchise and tutoring and they're very much into the children only community, yes, yeah. community oriented. Yeah. So I see your point, but that's part yeah. of the success is being part of the community. Absolutely. Local ownership for sure, creating yeah. jobs for people in the community, but also providing a service or a product back to the community. And as you say, sometimes people don't even realize that it even is a franchise, right? But uh, the systems, whether it be operations, marketing, sales, that's really what an owner is buying when they're buying into a franchise business, right? They're just sort of stepping into a business that we can only say business in a box, but certainly something that they can bring into a local community. But franchises are known to be a proven system as well. And there's a lot of people that need that kind of thing where they don't have to invent or end up back against the wall because they had the wrong idea. Now they need to change. They're working within a proven yeah. system. I would think that's one of the highest values of what makes it worth it. Would you say? Yeah. Yeah, abs absolutely. There's been some statistics shown by the SBA that shows that if you go out five years from when a business starts, if it's an independent business started from scratch, Sadly, one out of two actually isn't still operating after five years. If it's a franchise business, the stat is over 90%, actually 94% still operating in five wow. years. Yeah. So it's a wow. pretty compelling that's a, story. That's a definite reason to take a lot less risk, really. Yeah. Absolutely. I Absolutely. think restaurants, I remember restaurant business because I was in it 35 years ago, but the independence, oh my gosh, it's five years, I think it was more like 90% failure. It, yeah. It was really. Yeah. Absolutely. Really Absolutely. Tough. But not everyone is cut out to be a franchisee. Part of what we, part of what we do. And by the way, our services are hundred percent free to our clients. Our model is that we're paid by a franchisor if there's a agreement signed. The folks that come to me, whether they're maybe exited corporate life or they're anticipating exit corporate life, or sometimes they just want to add an additional income stream with a second business or a second focus. And that's who's usually who we will help. But the first thing we do is try to help them figure out, are they right for business ownership? And then secondly, are they right for franchise business ownership? Because uh, sometimes people, yeah. if they don't want to follow a system, they're probably not the right person. They might be great in business, but not necessarily in a franchise. It yeah. So you're vetting both sides. You've vetted the franchises opportunities that are out there. You've gone through those 5,000 of them that are out there, chosen the best ones to present and be willing to represent even in the sense of matching it up as a matchmaker. 
Yeah. And that's a whole other side of it because that's vetting too. That's making sure that the person's sure. right for the type of business they're going into. That's absolutely. That's, uh, yeah, you earn every penny, that's for sure, from what you're doing. Yeah. No, uh, it's can you a, tell me a little bit a, about. Oh, it's yeah. a lot of. It's a lot of fun. I, I said I get to help people get inside their heads as well as help them with the numbers. Oh, very good. Yeah, the numbers. <laughs> you definitely have to crunch the numbers when you're starting out and have the right, right amount of capital or access to it to make it work, I'm sure. sure. Yeah. Well, could you tell me who makes up the best group of people out there? From them? I guess you find people from all walks of life in a way, but is yeah. there a, a certain level of person when they in their life where they're ready for something like this? Or is it just doesn't matter? Well, it, it, information does, it, 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 matter, it matters in a couple of ways, right? First off, as I was just saying, figuring out if they have the right profile for business ownership in a franchise. But then we also have to think about the capital investment. And there's a whole range of funding possibilities out there. But suffice it to say, something each franchise is going to look for candidates that have a, a, at least a minimum net worth and a minimum liquidity, right? They want, the, they want someone to come into their system and to be successful. And part of that success is making sure that the individual has the, the, the money and the finances to cover all their rest of life expenses, right? The last thing you want to do is have them throwing everything into a business to the point where their, the rest of life just isn't being sustained for them. There are definitely thresholds around that. I would say the other interesting thing is we're seeing more and more, the trend is going toward younger, right? We're seeing more and more people in their 30s, even into their 40s, exploring business ownership through franchising. And uh, that wasn't the case 10 years ago. I would say most of the people that were coming to me as candidates were probably peers to me in terms of age-wise. But these days, we're seeing a lot more younger people coming into Exploring business ownership. Well, uh, yeah, I think people want to have control of their lives more, I, the younger group, and they're a little bit maybe more entrepreneurial minded, and they're not so much uh, want to be somewhere and have the security of a, getting a wa the golden watch or whatever at the end of retirement. I think, retirement. You, I think, they're yeah, looking I think at what right. they're doing now. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I they, that. they're looking at the generation above them, right? And they're saying, my generation didn't necessarily always have, they saw fading job security in corporate America. That's you're coming, right. You're getting to a stage where you're thinking about your options and you're in your thirties or even into your early forties. You see what's happened to people right above you. Take control of your own life, have more flexibility, independence. That's part of what someone can get as being their own business, their own boss. Well, I've heard some horror stories about pensions not being funded and that sort of thing. So the end game is not as stable as going oh. into a franchise where you have st stability. And themselves at that point, they may have saved enough and built enough, have the stability to make that move. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the support system, right? The resources, whether it be from the yeah. franchise or even I was a franchisee in one of the national hair care brands for many years. and. The, one of the biggest benefits I saw beyond what the franchisor brought to me was the network I had amongst my fellow franchisees, right? They were people who forgot more than I was ever going to learn in that business because they'd been in it for so long. But they were great people to pick up the phone and talk to as I was talking through yeah. a decision that I was making for my business. There's a great support system in franchising. You're not, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself, right? That's a great, that's a great thing. Absolutely. And that's probably what most people would want and desire is to have a mentor type of system built in. That's fantastic, Jim. On the personal side, how do you spend your time? Do you have a hobby or pursuit outside of work? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I live down in the Tampa, Florida area. Oh, and yeah. we, yeah. And we actually have in, in our area, we actually have one of the, we have the oldest and one of the largest shuffleboard communities here in Tampa and St. Pete. So I'm on, the, I'm on a team called the Smoking Discs and the Monday Night League. We're not doing particularly well at the moment, but we're trying real hard. But it's a lot it's of fun. A, yeah, it's, it's a social gathering kind of thing where oh, you've got people there yeah, that you know. Yeah. And, 
you, that's that you had you know, something to look forward to every week on that yeah. day and, yeah. and and meet your friends. Oh, that's that's a fantastic little hobby for sure. Yeah, it, yeah. It sounds and like fun. It does all it's age got groups, its own all thing age going. groups too, which is great. All age groups. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, uh, Jim, I want to thank you for a few minutes today. This is going to be invaluable Thanks. for us. We'll be publishing it on a LinkedIn newsletter, and uh, when we run into people that. Yeah. I'm looking your way and doing something, but they need a system and a way of having a new pursuit. I certainly would uh, recommend you and send the video off to them. So well, thank Perfect. you for your time today. Yeah, thanks. I'm happy to help. Thanks for, your, for the opportunity. Oh, you bet. Thank you. All righty.